Okay, so in this video, we are going to learn how to create Nicole's plot in MATLAB in simple and easy steps. So the first thing that we are supposed to know is what is Nicole's plot? Basically, the Nicole's plot displays the frequency response characteristics of a system in the form of magnitude versus phase. And it is very useful in understanding stability and performance of feedback control system. Now I'll tell you where do we use this Nicole's plot. It is being utilized in many places and one of the place is in power system engineering. To study the stability and performance of electrical grids, engineers do analyze the plot to design and optimize the control systems that regulates the voltage and frequency in power generation and in distribution networks. And this helps them to identify potential stability issues, determining the robustness of control system and enhance the overall system stability. So this is one of the use of Nicole's plot. And now we are going to explore how to create this Nicole's plot in MATLAB. So for that, let's jump to our MATLAB script. So here we'll start writing our script. Let's say we'll create a new section over here. And here you can see these two are our script of previous videos where I have explained how to create body plot and then we have learned how to create a Nyquist plot. It is also important to learn these two graphs and the link of the video is in description and above here in i button. Now using the same transfer function we are going to create a Nicole's plot. So let's get started. So we'll use the same thing. We'll use CLC clear all. This much of data will copy and paste over here and then we'll write denominator also. So this will become our numerator, this will become our denominator and then we'll create our first transfer function and we'll give it a variable SYS. TF is for transfer function, numerator and denominator. So whenever you want to create a transfer function, you're supposed to write TF and then you're supposed to mention your numerator and then denominator. And now we'll create a Nicole's plot so for that you're supposed to write Nichols and then you're supposed to mention your transfer function. So in this case our transfer function is stored in this variable SYS. Just run this thing and our Nichols plot will be ready. So this is our Nichols plot. It is open loop gain and it is open loop phase. So basically it is magnitude versus phase graph. Now here you can see in this one figure we can see only one graph. You can have a multiple graph in one figure. For that, we'll use the same script. Let's copy this thing. Paste over here. So here we are creating a multiple transfer function. And the same command we'll use. Nichols. And then we'll write SYS. SYS1. SYS2. These are our three transfer function SYS, SYS1 and SYS2. So doing this what we supposed to do? We want to create Nicole's plot for all these three transfer function in just a one figure, right? So in order to achieve that you can modify this equation like this. So now let's run. And here you can see this is the three Nicole's plot in one figure. Now let's close it. Now if you wish to customize your graph the way you need right then you can do it very simply just click over here and start uh, uh, let's say if you want this to be a uh, blue color right so let's make it blue comma system one if you want to make it uh, let's say red so let's make it red comma and the final graph you want to make it yellow. So let's see yellow. You can even change the solid line to dashed line or something else. Uh, let's say this B will make it dashed line and then this red will make it uh, triangular one. Right and this uh, Y uh, we'll keep it as it is right so now let's run and there we go so that's how you can customize this graph the way you want so that's how you can create Nicole's plot in MATLAB if you want to learn body plot or Nike's plot then you can watch these two videos if you are interested in exploring varieties of plots in MATLAB then you can defer this playlist so see you in next video